Hey guys, I'm Lance Cabrera and you're listening to The Guest Series oh. Episode 1, 20 going 30 Hi guys, welcome to the pilot episode of my vlogcast and today's episode is entitled 20 going 30 so this episode is the first episode of my vlogcast and it's actually supposed to be aired sana on the 100 days before my birthday, the actual start, which was on June 17. Kaso lang, um, I have my calendar here. I drew it um, 150 days before my birthday, which I used to record my workout. Kahit hindi naman ako nag-workout ngayon. <laughs> and yun, so I found out yesterday, June 17, which is the day that I'm taping this is June 18. I found out yesterday na I was five days late sa... Aking unang ano, unang calendar na ginawa. Therefore, yesterday timing lang talaga na I was fixing papers and briefings and information for this vlogcast and then I checked the date again and I found out that yesterday was the 100 days before my birthday. Anyways, this episode is airing today, June 21, 2021, 96 days before my birthday. So yon. Also, I won't be editing this kasi whenever it is a solo episode and wala tayong guest, I won't really edit it as much because I want to emphasize authenticity and para hindi na rin ako ma- mahirapan mag-edit because yun nga, I'm also busy with my school works and actually it's gonna be an easier time for the next two months because we are going to have our school break pero um, yun, I'll still have my school works and I still have to review for an exam on January and things like that. So yeah. So for today's episode and possibly the next, I will be alone. Actually, hindi na alone. Um, today, June 18, we already taped um, the second episode. And yun, hindi ko siya muna spoil. Pero the second episode has been taped today and I already edited it. And yeah, so today will be alone. This is the first episode. Alone siya because I wanted to reserve this this first episode because I want to look back one day and realize my growth na I really grew up a lot and I really changed a lot I really improved a lot within myself so yeah this episode I say I wanted to emphasize it being solo and authentic because one day I'll be looking at these videos that I make every time and this one is gonna be extra special because this is the first first year of me being on YouTube and it's it's great. It has been great for me. I really look forward to watching these videos when I grow older. When I'm 30 years old, because 20 going 30 yung episode natin ngayon. Yun. So, yeah, that's it. I really want it to be as authentic as possible. Also, for today's episode, hindi ko rin nag-invite, hindi rin ako nag-invite masyado ng tao because it's June, it's the end of June, and a lot of schools are having their finals week. Including us, we will be having our finals week on the last week of June. And other schools, my peers and those na in-invite ko to be our guests also have their finals week. So yeah, it's gonna be a tough ride but I'm really looking forward to it. Also, I'm really really pressured within myself because I don't want to disappoint myself na hindi ko siya complete na 25 episodes, 100 days before my birthday. Because... Yeah, it's really a challenge to be consistent in this podcast, vlogcast thing that I'm doing. And yun, hindi nga ako consistent sa vlogs ko. What is the assurance that I'll be consistent with this vlogcast episodes? That's why I really tried my best to contact as many persons that I can so that they can have their schedule for guestings, their schedules for the uh, filming and briefings and things like that. Yeah, I'm really, really, really looking forward to this vlogcast thing. So... Yes, that's it guys. And now for this episode, I will be sharing to you things I want to happen before I turn 30. Hashtag manifesting. So guys, if you wonder why I'm looking here, all the episodes of the vlogcast is actually semi-prepared or like there's an outline for me to follow. Because if it's gonna be pure impromptu, I won't be able to do that. I'm not as good as other speakers and yeah, I'm not really into communication stuff like that. I was part of journalism before, but that's a different story. So, yun. So, now, let's start the conversation. Um, the title is 20 Going 30 because it's, it's inspired by the movie 13 Going 30, where it was um, starred by, 
I forgot. She was also the star in ano, the Peppermint movie. What's that? Yon, the girl. Um, I forgot her name. Sorry, sorry. Anyways, 13 Going 30 is a huge hit before. And the movie made us realize the time and decisions that we make today will really affect who we are tomorrow. That's why I chose that movie because in your 20s, we make decisions that will really, really change our lives forever. And in our 20s, we are faced with challenges that are unique to us, are new to us, because this is the time that we would start to become independent from our family, independent, not just um, emotionally, but also we make decisions for ourselves and we start to become more financially um, stable, siguro, independent financially. So yeah, the things that we do today, the decisions that we make in our 20s will really, really affect how our life is going to be in the next 20, 30, 40 years, uh, the rest of our lives basically. And I think what's, what's very um, highlighted when I, when in our 20s is that this is the one-third or the one-fourth of your life where you are independent. So I saw this TikTok, yung dinidivide niya yung life natin into four pies. And each, each cut of the pie is equal to 20 years. So the first 20 years from our birth to our 20th birthday is actually the time that we are very, very dependent to our family, which is true. And after that, we start to become independent for the next 60 years or so. Yeah, so that, that TikTok was actually for um, uh, cutting out the, the thinking that parents or the children of the children are investments for the future. So yun. anyways, that's the time we become independent for the next 60 years. So yun, hindi pa rin ako makapaniwala na I'll have to be independent for the next 60 years. Because I actually tell my mom na uh, I will rely on her financially and emotionally for the next uh, 10 years or so if ever I decide to proceed to medicine or to pursue graduate studies. So, so yun. So anyways, going back to the topic, 20 going 30 is a topic for me which really hit me. It was the first topic actually that I really thought of when I was starting to plan the vlogcast because I want to emphasize that Ever since we were young, we were asked the question, what do you want to be 10 years from now? What do you want to become when you are older? What do you want to become? Um, what is your profession that you want? And it has bothered me for the past 20 years because at a young age, we are faced with decisions that we had to make. And especially when you were going to college and senior high school, like choosing a track was such a pain in the head. Ayoko <laughs> sabihin ng A. <laughs> and it was such a pain because I am not sure of the path that I wanted to take. Also, when I was in junior high school, I was a bit of a bulak ball. I did not like going to school at all. Uh, mainly because, I don't know, the reason was I feel like I was not growing there. I was not, I was not uh, blooming that time. So anyways, everyone has their own time naman, diba? So yeah, um, going back, um, making decisions that time was really, really hard. And yun, I was fixing myself and I found myself in a crossroad whether or not to pursue something really, really big to change my life or to pursue something that I really, really want or as a child I wanted. So actually, at a young age, my answer would be I wanted to become a teacher 10 years from now or I wanted to become a professor 10 years from now. Pero when I was in that lost maze during junior high school and I was making decisions for myself, I started to realize that in order for me to change the people or my former teacher's outlook in me na parang wala akong potential and all. And not really walang potential, pero kasi bulakbol nga diba? So hindi masyadong bright yung future. My mindset was that I had to dream something really, really, really big that will really, really change their mind. And what ran to my mind was I wanted to become a doctor. It was also the time when I became the president of the Red Cross Youth of my junior high school. And I was also engaged in medically related stuff, which really, really, really pushed me that, to that dream of becoming a doctor. And so when I went to senior high school and pursued STEM, that was the time when I really, really grew into the person that I am now. That was the life-changing moment because that was at the time that I chose to rise above the difficulties and forget the past and move on with my life to dream bigger and to become better. Yeah. So yeah, 
when I was in senior high school, my dream was set na eh. I wanted to become a doctor. And then when senior high when college entrance exams came, I was hesitant to take exams except for one which is my ano yung isa. Except for one which was UPCAT, I was not I did not like I did not want to take UPCAT because I don't see myself in UP. I saw myself in West Pacific State University, which is where I am now. The problem is I was not sure of what course to take whether should I pursue um nursing which is also uh, something that I was considering that time or should I pursue education which is my passion or should I pursue the dream that I thought would change people's mind about me which is biology so that I can study medical biology and proceed to medicine so yeah I ended up proceeding with biology which I thought was a good move because I can pursue medicine and at the same time if ever I change my mind and I want to pursue my passion of teaching I can also shift to take um, take units for education. So yeah, I think that I made a good decision. The problem now is that I am in such a dilemma wherein I am in such a dilemma where in a dilemma, basta ganun, parang wrong grammar. Anyways, I'm in a dilemma right now whether or not to pursue medicine because I think that we're not financially capable and it will really be a hard time for us to to for me to proceed to medicine. And I also I'm thinking na I really want to pursue teaching pero andito na ako eh why not try so yeah so yun anyways I'm planning to really really try so yun that's the story of my dream what I really want to become when I was young until now but a lot of things changed as I grew up and one of those things that really changed my mind or really made me think of the dilemma or the situation that I am now is when I saw this um, this video of Sabsi on Kiko. She is an Ateneo graduate of the same course as me, I think. I think she is also graduated as a biology student and she was on her way to proceed to medicine but her teacher told her that um, she sees Sabsi to becoming a teacher. Which I think is similar to me because there were some people who were telling me that I would make a good teacher. So I see myself in Miss Sabsi on Kiko, and then I re I rewatched this um, episode of her where um, this TED Talk episode of her where she was talking about this same question that I'm asking myself right now: What do I want ten years from now? So. Um, when I saw this video, I was also answering to my mind, I want to become a teacher, I want to become a doctor, any of the two will do. And then she suddenly made a twist. Why do we always point out what do we want, what do we want to become as a profession? Why not say, gusto kong maging masaya, gusto kong maging maligaya? Why not that? Why do we always think of the future as becoming successful in terms of profession and in terms of earnings? When we can um, point out that dreams can be can also be something that is deeper than what is physical, something that is who we are. You know that some that we can dream that ten years from now we can become successful by the means of we are happy, we are financially stable, we are um, compassionate, we are good, we are able to help others. So yun that came into my mind, and then I raised my head na. What do I really want to become na hindi siya profession? And so we are now in the list of those um, of the answers that I gave to the question that Sabsi asked me as an audience through the internet. So with that, I came to the re realization that I need to be more detailed with what I want so that when I face decisions, I will not be lost because I know what I want. I am detailed enough to know the things that I want in the next 10 years and I hope that we, as my audience, also have commonalities. So, still may physical pa rin naman akong in-include dito. Pero it's detailed and it's more specific which makes me want to achieve it more. Number one is I want to bring my family to different vacations. So 10 years from now, I want to have brought them to their dream destinations. So, ako kasi yung person na I really like to take down notes of the small things that will really matter to my family. Especially my mom. <laughs> so yeah, I always see this post 
about Batanes. Batanes is the dream destination of every Filipino. It's like n- the New Zealand of the Philippines. So my mom wants to visit Batanes. So I want to bring her there one time, even right, isang time lang in the next 10 years, along with my sister, because it's our dream destination. And um, um, in order for me to be as detail, detailed as possible, as far as I remember, my mom wants to visit the Honesty Store. Um, she knows someone there yata. And also, she wants to visit that lighthouse in the postcards. And also, the Ivatan houses, yung mga bahay na bato, which is really, really strong, in fairness. Because kahit ang daming bagyong dumaan, it's really intact. And it's still there. Also, did you know that Batanes is among the country's most um, resilient provinces because in uh, Batanes po, usually there is no casualties when there, whenever there are natural calamities. So yeah, I really want to visit Batanes with my mom. Next one is my tatay. I want to bring him to Mayon Volcano. So I think that a huge part of me, or of who I am, is actually because of my grandfather. Since we are, a, I am a proud, proud product of a broken family. It has brought me a lot of lessons. It has made me appreciate a lot of things. And Tatay is one of them. So I want to bring him to Mayon Volcano because it is it, it, it is his dream to visit the perfectly shaped cone of Mayon Volcano. Next one. So most of this na list ko is um, local lang na mga places because I don't really dream of going outside the country or working outside the country. Although I want to visit some places. Next one is with my sister. I want to visit South Korea with my sister. So we are both fans of Korean things and Korean stuff. And she wants to take, she is considering to take up foreign languages. So yeah, maybe she will be the first one to go there or or you never know, you never know. But if ever given the chance, I want to visit South Korea with my sister. And then after bringing, um, of course, the other members of the family will be brought with me during those trips, except yung kay mama. I promised myself na um, the first trip that I will go to is Batanes with my mom. No Joa at all because um, yun, yun sabi kasi nila, diba? If you want your Joa to fall in love with you more, <laughs> bring them to Batanes. And yun, sorry, but I will not bring my Joa to Batanes first. I will bring my mom first to Batanes before my Joa can, can, ano, can come with me. But anyways, wala naman tayong Joa. Bakit natin pinang problema yun? <laughs> Yon. So after visiting those places with my nanay, with my cousin, and with my uncle and with my family, I want to also do some soul searching. I am the type of person who loves being alone sometimes, and um, there are places that I really want to visit alone. Yeah. So when I was a child, my number one dream destination in the Philippines that I want to visit alone is El Nido, Palawan. So I really like the. Um, the rock formations and the limestone yata yon, the formations. Yeah, I'm really amazed by it. Also, I want to go to Davao. So this dream is actually when I became a biology student na. I want to visit Davao, not to visit the turtles. <laughs> but I want to visit the Philippine Eagle Sanctuary. As a biology student, it has always been my dream to do something to save endemic species of the Philippines. And I really want to see these endemic species. Actually, in my bucket list, sana for the 21st birthday which is this year sana gagawin ko sana yung mga bagay na yon kaso lang since it's a pandemic time hindi natin magagawa so i change it to the vlogcast pero in my block in my bucket list initial bucket list i really wanted to visit the um Mariit yata Mariit Marikit or something <laughs> sa Lambunao campus ng West Visaya State University or sa CAF i'm not sure where we can find some of the endemic species of region 6 and yeah like for example, yung ano yung Visayan leopard cat, I really want to visit sana yun. Kaso lang yun nga, pandemic ngayon. Yeah, anyways, I will be achieving those things in the future naman and I'll share it to you guys. So, yeah. So, I just want to share na ang swerte ng family ko kasi I stick to details. <laughs> and I always remember the small things na really matter to them. Hopefully na appreciate. <laughs> Next one, after I graduate, I want to visit my grandparents in my father's side. So, yeah. Something that I never want to happen is to be late. Um, I, I don't talk as much about them, but my conscience eats me up every time because I feel like, um, although I, I want to choose to move on, 
a part of me is really still broken hearted of what happened uh, 14 years ago but yun I've really adapted to it and oh, ang hirap talaga pag-usapan kasi naiiyak ako <laughs> pero anyways yun I always want to visit them sana one day without my father knowing <laughs> kasi um, yeah, my conscience eats, eats me up kasi feeling ko kasi kapag hindi ko sila maabutan what, what else would I ano uh, basta yun they are, they are a huge part of my life and because of the pandemic actually we were not able to visit them honestly we had plans sana plans pa lang naman pero I think it was possible talaga na nakapunta kami if not for the pandemic so anyways moving on <laughs> I don't want to talk as much about it because baka maiyak tayo sis I don't want to cry in this pilot episode Next one, before turning 30, or during my 30s na, I want to become a doctor. So yun, di ba? Ang, ang weird kasi sabi ko kanina, I'm undecided whether or not to proceed to medicine, but I really want to become a doctor, whether it be medical doctor or philosophy. Doctor of philosophy. So yeah, I'm currently un, um, lost in a maze where I'm not really sure of what I want to become in the next few years. And yon actually and daming decisions na kailangan kong gawin ngayon. Pero I, I don't want to stress them stress myself out because I'm already stressed. Pero yeah, I'm considering it. I'm considering the both because yun eh, andito na ako eh. why not push it to the limits, diba? I mean, if there was an equal opportunity or if given the opportunity, I will really really love to pursue it. Next one, hopefully this one is one of the hardest siguro na nilista ko. I will have my own house. <laughs> Hashtag manifesting. So I honestly want to live in the city but parang hindi siya as suited for someone like me. The only reason why I want to, to live in the city is that so far in my life, <laughs> um, I've always been independent and mature enough to be alone, to be left alone by my mother. <laughs> Because yun nga, she, re- she relies on me also to become emotionally stable and emotionally capable of making my own decisions because not at all the time she will be here because she has to work somewhere far. And I've always made decisions, small, deci- small, <laughs> small decisions for me and my sisters, sisters talaga, for my sister, um, which really trained me to become more independent as time goes by. And yeah, I found myself to be someone who is always taking initiative to do things to help my mom like as I posted some time before na um, I always try my best to join competitions where there is monetary prize so that I can help my mom so yun anyways going back um, the reason why I wanted to live in the city is that during that time when I was studying in Iloilo during the face-to-face classes walang face-to-face ngayon so nasa kalibo po ako um, I found myself having the biggest growth in my life like parang hindi naman sa nakawala ako sa haula strict yung parents ko pero they always allow me to make decisions on my own pero when I was in the city I found myself growing more hindi naman ako palaging tumatakas kay mama sometimes lang pero there were situations where I have to make decisions for my own and I found myself growing a lot making more mature decisions being more capable and more, more so I was able to prove myself na kaya ko pala. With that, I want to live in the city because I found myself growing there. Pero, my mom wants to live a life na quiet which is also something that I want. Gusto ko ng katahimikan. Gusto ko ng kasiyahan. Na sometimes, you will never find when you're somewhere always growing. So, yeah. My point is, in our lives kasi, bakit nakakaiyak yung music? <laughs> in our lives kasi, when we find ourselves wanting more and more and more, we never seem to find contentment in our daily lives. We never seem, seem to find that bliss. We are never lost in bliss. Parang ganun. Kasi, I've always ha- loved this quote. Um, I forgot. I think it was from Dr. Seuss. After, hap- after happiness... Ah, wait lang. Sorry ba? <laughs> Nabulol ako. Nakakadrama na eh. So, yun. so it was from Dr. Seuss. He said that happiness comes after contentment and you will only be happy when you are contented. Which is something that's really, really true. I mean, 
For the past six years, when I changed my life, when I circled it around from someone who was bulakbol and had no views of what I wanted in the future, I find myself. I found myself right now in a place where I am not contented, where I can never be contented. So, sabi nila, <laughs> sabi nila, di ba? Um, what the body cannot satisfy, God will satisfy. And feeling ko kasi, God exists in our hearts and in our minds. I'm not a religious person, but I, I really believe in God. And um, yun, siguro, I'm just waiting for that sign from God na you have proven yourself enough you have achieved what you want and it's time to find that happiness. <laughs> Parang mamamatay ako na. <laughs> Pero yun. Anyway, yung point ko is that I want to find happiness in the small things. I want to find happiness in satisfaction and I want to satisfy myself. Pero for me, in order to find that satisfaction and that happiness, that contentment, I have to make sure that I already achieved my dreams and I have seen the limits. And when I see those limits, I will not feel the need to sus- to surpass them. I will not need or I will not feel the need to do do more. You know? Kasi sabi nila, diba, when you're satisfied, you will not grow. Pero I think there is a lot of growth in satisfaction. And although I cannot find that satisfaction right now, I'm praying and I'm hoping and I really see myself finding that satisfaction one day. Yeah, so that's it, guys. That's something that I really hope for my 20s. Wow! I'm really amazed because that last part was not part of the semi-constructed script for today or the, out, the layout of today's episode. So yeah, um, I really discovered something when speaking, diba? Right? So that's, that, that's something that I really love when I do vlogs because sometimes may mga words na lumalabas sa bibig ko na hindi ko ina-expect na lalabas sa bibig ko. And those sudden um, sprints of self-realizations really helped me a lot and that's why I really started my vlog because it makes me realize that hey I'm blessed hey I'm enough hey I'm satisfied you know what it really gives me a, a sense of self-love and self-acceptance um, that I really need in my life yeah so that's it guys and I hope you enjoyed this pilot episode and I hope to see you in the next episodes yeah so thank you for supporting and if you reach this part Lalang, salamat, marami, marami ng salamat because it's it really means a lot to me. So yeah, I'm really amazed na yung two page ko <laughs> naging 27 minutes. So that's it, guys, and see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Lance Cabrera, and you're listening to the Guest Series. Oh.